What's up, guys? DK, we are back to Final Fantasy X HD. No speed grid, taking down the Dark Aeons. Today, we're gonna tackle Dark Yo Jimbo. Okay, so we've already defeated Dark Valifor, Dark Ifrit, and Dark Ixion. And like I said at the end of the last episode, this is where it gets difficult. And at this point, you're gonna need a really strong Aeon with a lot of HP. For this one in particular, I wanna say you wanna have at least 40,000 to be absolutely safe. So. Now, as some of you know, I did this the hard way already on the PS2 version many, many, many years ago. And although it's definitely a breath of, uh, a breath of fresh air and much, much faster to do it this way, it's still annoying to do it because uh, I have to, I have to reach my hand out and constantly press the escape button to open this menu right here. Now, I somehow managed to do it using my controller by accident. I don't know how I did that, so it would be nice if I knew how I how I opened this menu right here using my controller. That will make it so much faster. But yeah, uh, once again, uh, you guys have given me the okay to use this feature after I would, um, after I showed how I, how I would normally attain a unlimited supply of this. But her luck is 162, and raising it mainly to this amount will probably take me about, I don't know, a month or two with my full-time job and everything. I mean, this would take forever. So let's just assume that, I don't know, two years have passed. <laughs> Maybe not that long, so. But yeah, guys, uh, again, this is the main reason why I raised quit it. Um, no spigot, dark anima, all those years ago. But now that I can do this, I will eventually power up all my aeons. I haven't even collected the dark maxes yet. I will, I will eventually power up all my aeons, and I will continue to try dark anima until I hopefully somehow take it down. Let's go. All right, guys, Dark Yo Jimbo. Just like the Great Mile Barrel, unfortunately, in the first fight, he always ambushes you, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about that. Yoink. All right, Shiva, baby, it's time to go to work. Alright, so first things first, we're gonna use haste. Of course. You gotta do that. And by the way, uh, don't worry about him too much. He's not one of the AOs that completely says, screw the rules, I'm gonna I'm gonna break you and slow you. He doesn't do that. He does, uh, unfortunately, remove your auto life, which is why you need uh, an Aeon to take him down. Actually, even without that, you still need an Aeon because he constantly uses uh, a powerful group attack. That way I forgot to attack. Anyway, use haste and protect immediately, and then start cheering to you cheer five times. If your HP is like over... If your Aeon's HP is over 60,000, you won't need to cheer that many times, but you still might want to do it just to be absolutely safe. Okay, so with Haze protecting cheer five times, now you want to start attacking him. You can either heal by using double cast drain, or in my case, using Aeon, you, you can just heal yourself. Element A, I'm sorry. Uh, 
Okay, so the way you damage Dr. Jimbo is by using the double cast flare. Ultimate is tempting, but it costs too much. Damn dog. You'll be pleased to know that although you need quite a lot of HP to take this one down, once you get to that HP amount, he's actually probably, let me see, yeah, once you get a lot of HP, I would say he's probably the second easiest one. It's just that you need a lot, I mean a lot of HP, but after that, it's, it's pretty much a cakewalk to be honest. Just make sure you keep your HP in check. Okay, now this is where you need, need to be very, very careful. You need to keep an eye on his HP. I mean, keep an eye on your HP and his old drive. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fill his old drive now. Let me get a full health and hit him with a couple of flares. He's already at half health, nice. Okay, uh, obviously when your gym was old John's fool, he would use the model. Now the only way to survive to, to survive the model is by blocking it with the AM because unfortunately uh, the model does remove auto life. That's the only rule he breaks. Naturally it does 99,000 to the whole group. And with 255 defense, protect, shield, and cheer times 5. You can make Zamato do less than 40,000. Just another the sponge. It. So now we should be get back to full health. And we simply repeat the cycle until he dies. So like I said, this is probably the second easiest one behind uh, Dark Valifor, but you can kill Dark Valifor before she even gets the turn. Well, now that my, now that my Shiva is nice and super strong, the uh, Infrit probably won't be that much of a problem either, but still.
I don't know, uh, Dark Midday might be a little easier than him. Well, no, because, uh, you have to beat the other two in the same sequence of fights, so, yeah. And Dark Cynic can, Dark Cynic can kiss my ass. Now, if you're doing this without the without the special features that the PC has, like you're playing on your P PS2 or PS3 or whatever, you want to try finish them with, with your overdrives so you can get the uh, the overkill if you're farming dark matters or whatever. I don't know what his HP is. Not yet. Probably about another one of those. Yeah. Once you think you've almost got them there, you want to try finish them with the overdrives. But I don't have to worry about that, so I'm not going to. Cause it gets kind of annoying to have to keep up with this uh, HP. Of course, if you use the Anima, this is going to be a problem. Cause all you got to do is just keep spamming pain, and, and he'll die. But in this first fight, you should kill him before he gets to his second Zamato attack. There he goes. There he goes. Guys and Knuckles. I think that's break damage limit for Riku. But it also has counter attack down. So now, now it's useless. Alright, so obviously now we gotta do that five more times in order for him to be considered defeated. But of course, you don't want to do that five times because the only reason why you would do it five times is to defeat Penis, and Penis cannot be defeated without Zamato, so there's actually no point in doing the five times. Alright, so we can actually skip this fight, because the only fight that matters, I mean, that I need to show, is the first fight and the last fight. I don't need to show the rest of them. Genji Bracer sucks. Okay, so I'm sure most of you know this by now, but for the five of you who don't, you can actually skip one of his fights. The third fight is actually up here, and you want to actually skip this one unless you want to kill him for good, and you don't ever want to do that until you're ready to fight Penis, which is never going to happen in this playthrough. So we're never going to do this battle, or at least never do five of them in some form or another. Right, so let's go. Oh, I forgot to. I almost. Oh, I almost screwed up. I forgot to. Yeah, don't. Uh, please, uh, don't forget to do this. Don't. Don't forget to go back and heal your Aeon. Uh, however, if you do forget to do this, like I almost did, you can actually absorb uh, 1,000 MP from your Jimbo, and that will actually be enough. You just have to mix in some overdrives and some basic attacks in the mix. So you, in case you need to use your last 100 MP to keep healing and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, so don't don't do what I did. Make sure you keep going back and healing after every fight. Can't believe I almost forgot to do that. That would have been very very bad. I mean, I would have been okay. I still has an MP left. I would have been all right. Okay, no point in me showing this uh, fight either. The only one, I, the only one I really need to show after the first one is the last one. Uh, but some of you may not have noticed this in a casual playthrough, but you will definitely notice it in a no spear grit game. The difference between the fights as it drags on is that his overdrive charges much, much, much faster, which of course means he'll spam Zamato more often. All right, so let's move on to the last fight. All right, guys. So one more fight left. Well, first, of course, let me go back and heal up. Speed this up. All 
All right, so because I skipped this battle up here, at this point I can't go back and do it. So this also means that after I beat him this um this uh, fourth time, I can fight as many times as I want. But y'all know that, right? All right, guys, the last fight. Now, this is the ugly one. Because he keeps spamming Zamato. You're probably going to take, like, maybe five or six Zamatos in this fight. You know what they should have did right here? They should have, uh, well, maybe not. Because I guess that probably would have made it impossible they should have made this uh this last fight they should have made this one ambush you and not the first one and then he starts with a full overdrive but that might have made it impossible because at that point you would have to um, summon an Aeon and even if you shield against it it'll still do maximum damage so it it will force you to sacrifice one of the Aeons but then you come back with a party and then you know most likely won't be getting a turn after that unless you get really 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 lucky so that probably would have made this one of the harder dark ends to defeat but oh well anyway we don't have to worry about those things let's go ahead and end this Alright, so like I said, uh, some of you may not have noticed this in a casual playthrough because you kill him so fast to the point where he never gets a chance to use it. But the difference between uh, all the fights is that how fast his overdrive charges. In this last fight, his overdrive, his overdrive charges very, very, very fast. So he's going to be using Zamato a lot. Of course, I can sponge it, so this isn't a problem, but it just means that you gotta make sure that you're careful. Just be thankful that he doesn't counterattack. Hate Aeons who counterattack. I lost my account, so I'm gonna cheer another time just to make sure that I got enough. Okay, that should be five. I don't know. I know that's a few more of those. Cause that's supposed to do like just under 8,000. Unless that's just that random number crap. Uh, in case you're wondering why I'm not using focus to increase my magic, my, my uh, magic damage. Um, it doesn't seem to make that much of a difference, if any difference at all, so that's why I'm not even bother using it. I'm to show you why I'm not using, um, Ultima. As you saw, Flair was doing like, what, 40,000? Actually, let me heal first, because I might charge overdrive. As, saying, as you saw, Flair was doing like 40,000, right? Okay, that's not a charge over time. Yeah, Ultima doesn't do. See, Ultima doesn't do that much more, so you're probably wondering why did we bother getting the Ultima in the first place. Uh, Ultima is solely for the Dark Maga Sisters. It's 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 really for for Dark Cindy because Dark Cindy. You need to kill her as quickly as possible because she's she's just just, just fucking annoying. And it's more damage, yeah, but it costs almost twice as much. And you will definitely run out of MP if you spend multiple. Plus the animation takes longer. It's kind of annoying.
I hate getting hit by that. Yeah, I'm probably gonna take about four or five more of those before he goes down. Well, I could just use this. But it's not that much strong and delays my turn. So. Yeah, see, I, um, in my, in my PS2 run, I initially used this Shiva because, because I'm a pervert and I've been, you know, Shiva's hot. So that's why I wanted to use her instead of Anima. But then, as I kept doing it, I realized that I wasn't really handicapping myself by doing that because, again, the main difference between Elemental Aeons and Anima is the fact that they can heal themselves for so much. See, I could take this thing. See, let me show you. Okay, let me show you what I'm talking about. Kuraja costs 20 MP, right? If I do that, I heal for a measly 13,000. Okay, so Blizzard Ra. Not only does Blizzard Ra cost eight MP, but it heals for so much more. And because it's a black magic, this means that I can. It means I can heal and attack at the same turn, which is really, really, really helpful. Anima can do that too with Drain, but she would, but she would can always go at full health. See, that's the main difference right there. Really, really helpful. Just remember to keep your Aeon's um, magic defense no higher than 100 because after the slug, you really don't have to worry about magic defense anymore. Alright, so I don't want to look at Zamato another five times. Let's go ahead and take him out now. So, in your normal no speaker run, if you're not using, the, if you're not using the, the, the PC or some kind of cheap device, which some of you are probably going to do, because this shit can be quite long and tedious, uh, you want to keep fighting this guy as many times as you want to to get Dark Matters and hopefully occasionally get a ribbon. For you. Well, this of course is if you're taking on Dark Anima. If, if you don't plan on fighting in Dark Anima without Zamaru, you don't have to worry about it. But basically, you'll be farming this guy for Dark Matters and, and hopefully you will get a ribbon for, for Riku, Tidus, and Waka, Yuna, without that other shit add on to it. And by the way, I know I had I know I had 2,000 MP, but in all honesty, for this one, you really don't need that much because um, don't forget that all you all you gotta do is yeah, all you gotta do is that just uh, lancing him to death. Well, not to death, but you only do it one time. But you can get um, 99 magic from him, which is actually, which is always which is of course very helpful. Right, let me shut the hell up before I misclick. Let me go ahead and take him out now. There's another Zamato. I remember when I first saw this attack for the first time, I was like, what the hell? He just sliced that thing in half. But for some reason, uh, I don't exactly know how it works. I'm going to have to. I haven't watched uh, Dong 8's movie on this yet, but he has a movie full explaining how uh, how Zamato works. But apparently, it seems impossible to use this on bosses on the North American version. I gave you Jimma like five million gil on the North American version, and for some reason, he just would not use Zamato on the boss in that version. Kind of frustrating, but oh well. Maybe that's something that they just totally messed up in the coding. 
because that's like his whole purpose. So I'm glad he's fixing his nothing present, but still, many, many people would consider that a, 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 a cheap way to victory, and it is. But I think every Final Fantasy game has something kind of like that. Like it's the death moving bosses. Well, not all of them, but most of them. Like Vanille had death. Uh, six had with the vanish doom thing. Seven had cat seeth, and eight had um selfie. I don't think nine has anything like that. But the only boss in that game that's hard is Austin. I'm going to be eating another Zomato. Nope. No, I'm not. Okay, how many Zomatos there was? was that? Three or four Zomatos? I wasn't keeping count. Probably, probably should have did Diamond Dust there for a fancy finish, but I ain't got time for that. Alright, guys. And that takes care of Dr. Jimbo. Shut out. And since I didn't kill him five times, he's not officially defeated. And you don't want that. Those guys got like a funny running animation. <laughs> Alright, what was that? Shout out for Waka. Ah, yeah, see, uh, uh, unfortunately, if you get a ribbon from him, it will usually come with something else and, uh, um, they are going to need all three empty slots with the ribbon. So, well, again, this only matters um, if, if, if you plan on taking down Dark Animus. So, yeah. All right, guys. So that's going to do for this episode. Next time, we've got a really, really tough one and a rather long and tedious one. Next time, we're going to take down, hopefully take down, Dark Bahamut. See you guys there. Take it easy. DK out. Thank you for watching.